the 27th of November, 1962. The capital city of the United States prepares to welcome a friend from Africa. Prime Minister Abdi Rashid Ali Shermaki of the Somali Republic is expected momentarily at the White House in Washington for his first meeting with President John F. Kennedy. Prime Minister, separated as we are by geography and history, we also uh, find a sense of kinship to uh, your government, which in its separation of powers between the executive and the legislature and the judiciary bear a uh, resemblance to the balance of powers which we have felt in this country best ensures the liberty of the individual. We are particularly heartened to have you visit us. Prime Minister, you're welcome. Mr. President, I have great pleasure to convey to you and to the people of the United States the warmest greetings from the President of my country, from the government and the people of the Somali Republic. I'm looking forward to our meeting, which I'm sure will contribute on the creation of, of good relations between our two countries. Thank you. That day, the Prime Minister and President Kennedy have their first meeting in the White House to discuss world issues and Somali social and economic development. At the Shoreham Hotel, the Somali ambassador to the United States, Omar Moalem, gives a reception for Prime Minister Abdir Rashid. He welcomes G. Menon Williams, Assistant Secretary of State for African Affairs. some Somali students studying in America. On his second day, he pays a visit to a famous Washington landmark, the Islamic Center and Mosque. Before leaving, he is presented with a copy of the Koran. At the President's guest house, Prime Minister Abdir Rashid is host to President Kennedy and leaders of official Washington. These are some of the gifts given to President Kennedy and his family by the people of the Somali Republic. The next day, the Prime Minister flies to New York City, 250 miles to the north.
from his airplane, he sees the United Nations headquarters for the first time. Among the flags of member nations, the flag of the Somali Republic flies proudly before a palace of glass where 110 countries assemble in peace. Prime Minister arrives at the United Nations to keep an appointment with Sir Muhammad Zafrullah Khan, President of the General Assembly. As representatives of a new nation, the Prime Minister and Foreign Minister Abdullahi Issa receive a special welcome from the Secretary General, Wu Thant. His first night in New York, Mayor Robert H. Wagner gives a reception in his honor. The mayor presents him with a golden key of welcome to New York City. Traveling almost at the speed of sound, he leaves New York heading south for the island of Puerto Rico, 1,600 miles away. The Commonwealth of Puerto Rico is an associate member of the United States, a tropical island with a climate much like that of the Somali Republic, the coastline washed by the seas of the Caribbean and the Atlantic. The city of old San Juan is rich in historical lore that reaches back to its discovery by Christopher Columbus. This is the official residence of Puerto Rico's governor, Munoz Marin, who welcomes his distinguished guest. The two leaders discuss economic problems common to both countries. The prime minister and his party visit a community self-help project where he is impressed by its neighbors, helping each other build their homes with government materials and advice. This cooperative project is one of many that have brought progress to this once impoverished island. leaving, they enjoy the hospitality of the new homeowners. Their visit at an end, the Prime Minister and his party leave for the airport. During his travels, Prime Minister Abdur Rashid flew in President Kennedy's new jet aircraft. He is the first official guest to make use of it. Exchanging farewells, the Prime Minister sums up his impressions of his visit when he says, I have felt at home here. Returning homeward, Prime Minister Abdur Rashid Ali Shermaki can feel assured that his visit has brought the Somali Republic and the United States closer together.